and that was all the people that were reporting that Sean was harassing them. They all reported earlier today. Also, I've gathered all of the signatures from them asking for his immediate resignation. I really don't believe it still that this piece of work was working here in our offices. I understand now the severity of the situation. Thank you for reporting everything back to me and getting me up to speed with everything. Yes, sir, of course. There are some people who are still saying that they haven't been compensated for any of the money that was scammed. Apparently, there were several female employees that were also being sexually harassed. He was also caught yelling obscenities towards many of them. I'm so sorry about all of this. If only I was more alert and aware of what was going on in my office. You were overseas taking care of business, sir. It's not going to be easy or even realistic for you to have complete oversight of our office. It really can't be helped at all. To add to all of that, I was the one that hired him while I was working as interim president while you were away. I'm also responsible for hiring him, so it's not only your fault or responsibility. He was actually the son of Howard and Sons Incorporated, so it kind of helped him out, if you understand, sir. Ah, so he basically had connections higher up, I understand. Yes, sir. At the time, Howard and Sons was one of our big-time clients, so I couldn't really turn that down. I mean, they're out of business now, so I guess none of it really matters at all, but... I see. So they went out of business, but Sean, who used those connections, ended up staying in our workplace. Now it all kind of makes sense. I am so sorry, sir. It was my fault and it is my responsibility, considering I hired him and I was unable to realize what kind of person he was behind the scenes in the office. You may have been acting president at the time, but I am the president of the company, no matter how you put it. I was definitely responsible for letting my own employees work in an environment that they were clearly uncomfortable in. There were also employees that have taken off as a result of this, right? Yes, sir. The reason that I started gathering these signatures in the office was because those employees started saying that they needed to take a break from the workplace. They are currently going to counseling and recovering at home. If possible, it would be nice for you to show up and tell the employees that you're with us and on our side. Of course, I'll be sure to swing by and talk to everyone about all of this. It's Sean from sales and marketing, right? I'll be sure to take care of it as soon as I'm able to. I'm already sending out some emails. I'm not sure I'll be able to fire him immediately, but I'll be sure to make as many arrangements as I can to make things right. Yes, sir. We would all greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for your swift response. However, right now, I would really like you to focus on your business meeting today with Johnson's Industrial. Don't worry too much about our situation, as you've done everything you can do about it at the moment. Yeah, of course. I can't miss this appointment with them. This is a huge deal for us. You already contacted the bar, right? That we would be going there? Yes, sir. I've let them know that you'll be arriving with the Johnson's Industrial people at around 7 p.m., I reserved the VIP seats for you. Thank you so much for taking care of everything for me, John. This company is doing as good as it is because you are around to take care of everything. None of this would be possible without you. I really want to thank you for everything you've done for me and the company while I was away and you were acting president. Don't mention it, sir. I only did what I could as your right-hand man. Anyways, sir, good luck tonight and Godspeed. I'm sure you'll do great things, sir. Yeah, leave it to me. I got this. Hey, you! Don't be ignoring me, you little piece of shit. I'm literally talking to you right now. You better answer. Um, to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Whom do you have the pleasure of speaking to? Do you seriously not know who the hell you're talking to right now? You're just some low-life sales rep. Low-life sales rep? Oh, are you someone from Johnson's Industrial, or am I mistaken? What? Who or what the hell is Johnson's Industrial? <laughs> uh, don't bring up that shitty trash company that no one's ever heard of, moron. You're just some low-life sales rep. 
You don't even remember what I look like? What the hell is wrong with you, you stupid or something? Um, I think that you are mistaking me for someone else. Positive, actually. What? You trying to make excuses like that? You always do this kind of crap? You must be a shitty employee who always runs away from his responsibilities and is useless, huh? Doesn't contribute anything to the company? <laughs> I mean, you work at a literal factory, so I'm sure there's not much brain activity going on there. <laughs> like I said earlier, sir, I think you're mistaking me for someone else. You're some shitty sales rep, right? You better take care of all the bills for me. Excuse me, what do you mean? This is part of our arrangement. I'm your client. You need to make sure that you make the client get the best treatment possible, right? I mean, I have enough money to pay for everyone in this bar right now, and I'm still gonna have plenty of change left over for the night, but... Today is supposed to be a special day where the shitty sales reps will pick up the tab, so I'm going to be partying all night, baby. Let's go! Excuse me, but I'm not able to do that kind of service for you. I really don't do that kind of thing of business trips. Actually, I really need to bring the whole thing back to the fact that I think you're mistaking me for someone else. How long are you gonna be lying through your teeth like that? No one believes your lies. Come on, you need to drink up too. You're gonna be paying anyway, so if you don't drink, you're gonna be missing out on a great time. No, I'm not gonna be paying for anything, and I don't need to drink either. No, thank you. I didn't come here to play around, I'm here for business only. This is a high class bar. It's literally where you're supposed to drink a lot. <laughs> I feel like you're not supposed to be here anyway. You're just some shitty sales rep. Wait, hang on, did you get lost or something? You weren't even supposed to be here, were you? <laughs> you're starting to get on my... Let me just tell you, I really don't know how someone who hasn't worked out a single day in his life found a job. And somehow you end up in this place where only the real and elite adults come to hang out. You don't belong here. Let me explain something to you. This is a high class bar. And only the most elite of the elites are able to come here to hang out. I need you to pay for the damages for having trash like you show up in a high class place like this. <laughs> How much of an asshole can this guy be? Who even is this person? How'd he get my number? Um, I'm gonna have to leave now because my business partners will be arriving soon to talk about our future business together. Excuse me. You better pick up my tab. <laughs> Excuse me, what the hell are you thinking? No, no, what the hell are you thinking? Why the hell are you in the VIP seats? This is not a place where shitty sales reps like you are able to sit in. Do you understand? It's reserved for the classiest and elite members of society. This has nothing to do with you, does it? I'm working here. I'm having business meetings right now. Please stop getting between us and interrupting our meetings right now. I see. You gotta work hard because you're just some low-life sales rep, right? <laughs> Good luck, idiot. <laughs> the guy you were talking to, that old idiot, he looked pretty poor and low, too. What is this, some kind of connection between Terrible Company A and Terrible Company B? What a shitty combo. <laughs> what? That elderly gentleman is the key person of Johnson's Industrial. Oh my god, stop bringing up that stupid company's name. I don't know about it. <laughs> you really need to rethink your priorities too. You need to be talking business with me and not that old guy. Um, I really don't know what you're talking about or who you are. What is your name again? Oh my god, you really don't remember, do you? I'm one of your clients that brings you massive amounts of business. I'm from NNS Securities. My name's Sean. Sean from NNN Securities. Wait a second. Are you from the sales and marketing department? That's Sean? Yeah, I'm from sales and marketing. You finally remember who you're talking to? 
The other day I went to a factory to check out what that was and I saw you walking around with a dinky little helmet, working. <laughs> and I even said hello to you. I was with the manager at the time though, so I guess I was treating you with so much respect. <laughs> You're Sean, I see. Now I'm really understanding why people are starting to take off work. If this piece of shit was working in my office, I'd want to take off too. What the hell are you talking about right now? You're just a low-life sales rep, so you better start talking to me with some respect, you understand? Oh man, I'm so lucky to stumble into one of you low-life employees, though. This could have been so annoying if you weren't around. You better spend the company money that I spent this time around as part of our business meeting. I think the tab is at around $5,000 right now. Are you telling me all this while knowing who I am? I'm literally the president of your company. Hang on, what? Just so you know, Sean, I think that you've made a very, very, very grave mistake. And this was one mistake you'll remember for the rest of your life. I'm the president and acting CEO of the company that you are currently employed at. What? You're the president of NNN Securities? <laughs> Great joke, idiot. You must be high or drunk. Maybe both? <laughs> oh, there's not a chance in hell that you're the CEO. The name of the CEO at our company here at NNS Securities is a guy called John, not David. John was looking after the company as interim president. You know, while I was away overseas for two years because I had work. What? The interim president? Oh, wait, I think I remember hearing about something like that. Hang on. If you want, you can contact John and check up on it. I'll be waiting here while you do that. Ask him about the business meeting that I'm conducting industrial at this bar that we are currently at right now. He knows all about it. You can even check our homepage. Have you ever even opened our company webpage? If you go to the corporate introductions page, you'll see my face and my title listed as the president of the company. Oh, oh shit, it's true. So you're seriously the president of our company? You're not lying at all? I've been saying that I am for the past hour. Are you deaf? I'm so sorry, sir. I really did just make an honest mistake. Please forgive me. I just didn't know that you were the CEO of our company. If only I had just known. Yeah, the problem here isn't that I'm the CEO and you didn't know about it. It was your shitty attitude. No, sir. I really, um, I thought that you were some low-life employee that worked at the factory. Can you please tell me why you, the president, was at the factory where all the low-level employees worked? First off, I don't think that they're low-level employees. They're key players in a functioning company. They're all equally important for this company to run smoothly and operate with no hiccups at all. We're all what you might call a team. That would explain why I was at the factory to help out and check up on things. And why I would help when I could. Seriously? No way. This is... Uh, it's totally a trap. It's entrapment. If you're wearing a helmet and the uniform while working at the factory, I'm gonna think that you're a factory worker and not corporate. Like I said a second ago, even if I were a factory worker or a sales rep, your actions and language are the problem. None of what you said was acceptable or will be tolerated. What? Hang on a second! Are you going to- are you going to fire me? You're not gonna terminate my contract, are you? Wait, hang on a second! This all happened outside the company hours, right? This wasn't while we were working. While I'm working at the office, I would never act or behave this way like I did a second ago. I'm able to really distinguish leisure from professional workplace. So in other words, you want me to forgive you because we aren't working right now, hmm? And that you're off the clock. Y yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It wouldn't make sense or be fair at all that you're firing me for what happened outside the workplace, right? Yeah, I guess, but I told you a second ago too. 
I'm currently at a business meeting with a very, very important client of ours at the moment. In other words, I'm currently working right now. I'm on the clock. This whole thing, it happened while I was on the clock. Uh, no, I mean, uh, maybe you're on the clock, but I'm not. To make things worse, you were pretty damned rude to our guests, were you not? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about, either. Right now, we're working on projects that will be moving around tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. That's how big this is. And in order for all of this money to flow right into our pockets, I need the cooperation from Johnson's Industrial. I need them to be on our side. I see. I didn't know that, sir. I really hope it all works out for you tonight. I really hope that it all works out for me tonight. Excuse me? You realize that the clients have been complaining to me ever since they interacted with you. They're telling me that they've had one of the worst nights of their lives thanks to you. Uh, but... Of course having a terrible time. You just show up out of nowhere and start spewing crap like, Look at these shitty companies working together, how adorable. They're going to go back now instead of finishing our business meeting because they have been insulted and are upset. I don't even know if they're going to sign the contract with us anymore. I want to be able to explain to them that some random drunk person started talking to us out of the blue, but unfortunately, you're definitely one of ours. I really can't be making up any kind of excuses for your actions at all. You've really screwed us over on this one. This is a royal screw-up on your end. I mean, yeah. You think you're just going to get fired? You better be ready for a lawsuit, buddy, because we're coming for damages and then some. Uh, no, wait, just hang on a second, sir. Uh, don't get too rash on me. Uh, this was all kind of an accident, you know? I wasn't really being intentional, and it all just kind of happened. If I had known that this was our company's greatest project being worked on tonight, I never would have intervened or tried to get between you two. I don't even know about that company. Uh, what was the name again? Jason's Industrial or something? It's literally the greatest and biggest company in the industrial scene. What the hell are you doing at work that allows you to somehow work without knowing who these gentlemen are and what company they work for? I'm done with this. I don't see how you're remorseful at all for any of your actions. You're fired! Hang on just a second, sir. I've worked really hard and diligently at work. I'm being serious! Tonight, I just kind of let things go a bit too far because I had too much to drink and, uh... You're a hard worker, huh? You're diligent. You're telling the truth and being honest about all of that, right? Of course I'm being honest in all of that. I'm seriously a career-oriented workaholic. I work hard every day that I show up in the office. Okay, take a look at this and explain to me what's going on. Wait, what is this? I don't... This is a whole list of employees at the sales department of our company that are claiming that they have received harassment and other unacceptable behavior from you. They are all signing this form that is asking for your immediate termination from this company. Every single person who works in our sales and accounting department has signed this document. What? Every single person? You gotta be making all this up, right? Do you really think that someone who works hard every day they show up at work would have every single co-worker in their department sign a document that is asking for his resignation? All of the employees are considering bringing you to court to try to get you to pay for all of the damages that you have done to them. What? But, I mean, come on! Sometimes you really gotta tighten the leash on these guys to teach them a lesson. You just can't be nice and kind to all of them. So forcing female employees to go on dates with you is somehow teaching them a lesson. Explain that to me. You really need to stop coming up with shitty excuses. Cut the shit and start being real with me, Sean. There are people who have become mentally ill because of what you've done to them, do you understand? They've stopped coming to work because of you. It, that's just because they're all too weak. It's not my fault at all. I'm over this. 
We have already figured out how we're going to sue you for a lot of damages and compensation for all of the money you cost us. You're also going to be fired for sure. Right now, though, you need to be thinking about what you're going to do about the store. What? What are you talking about the store, sir? You know, the $5,000 that you spent thinking that you would be able to make me pay for your tab. That's a little problem. You're going to be paying for it on your own, just so we're clear. I'm not going to be helping you, and you're not going to be able to use the company card. No, I don't have $5,000, though. That's so much money. Okay, then use your credit card or something. I don't care, but just take care of it on your own. Maybe you don't know this, but we actually own this bar. You will be paying for your tab tonight, one way or another. Uh, but... Also, there are quite a few customers who were irritated or otherwise insulted by your presence and behavior. What do you say, Sean? How about you pick up the tab for everyone as a sorry for starters, huh? That'd be really helping everyone out and making things right. What? But I don't have that much money. How am I supposed to pick up the tab for everyone? Why not? You literally told me a second ago, though. You said that you could pay for everyone in this bar and still have a lot of money left over. Sean was then blamed for everything that was going on in the bar that was considered rude and promised to pay for everyone in the bar. The tab cost him upwards of 50k, and he was forced to go to a nearby ATM to pull out his entire life savings to pay for everyone in the bar. It was a great thing that he did that, and it was definitely a gutsy move, but it has nothing to do with his job. I fired him just like I said I would, and sued him for all of the damages that he had caused because of his behavior at the club, along with all of the employees who were unable to show up to work because of his behavior. To add to that and make things worse, all of the employees filed a class action lawsuit against him for everything that he had done to them. He was forced to pay over 200 k so he had to take out loans to pay all of that off. He would be in debt for a while. News of this debacle quickly spread across the whole industry. It would be very difficult for him to find another job, so he ran away to his parents' home for a while. But because his parents' company had already gone under, like I said before, he wouldn't be able to just stay in their house. The ex-CEO of his family company actually chased him out of the house. He wasn't able to do anything about it and had to leave. Right now, he is running away from all of the loan and debt collectors while trying to find jobs to pay them off. After Sean left, the sales and accounting department at work was able to finally work in peace again with a nice workplace environment. All of the employees who were taking off work were able to come back to the office after several months of counseling and R&R. &R. Currently, every single employee is working peacefully toward a better tomorrow. Oh, and just to be clear, Johnson's Industrial decided on a later day that they would be alright to go through with the deal and sign the contract with NNN Securities. They are working hand in hand with the right hand man John to make things go smoothly and do great things. James, where are you right now? You're done with work already, right? It's already past your regular work hours. Did something happen? I'm sorry to worry you. Everything's fine, no worries. I just have more work to be done today. I'll be home after I finish this. Maybe about an hour or so. What? Another hour? Why? What's taking you so long? Ah, uh, what do you mean, why? There's urgent work that needs to be done before tomorrow. I'll just finish this and I'll head straight home. Why would you do such a thing? What are you going to do with dinner? I'll be done after about an hour. But if you're starving already, just go ahead and eat before me. Eat before you? What do you expect me to eat? There's nothing edible I can eat for dinner. And you call yourself engaged to me? Are you seriously thinking we can get married in this state? What's wrong? What are you talking about? What do you mean by not being able to get married in this state? First of all, you don't cook dinner. I can't eat dinner because there's nothing else to eat. Also, 
We are going to become husband and wife soon. I can't believe we're going to eat separately. This is unbelievable. Couples don't eat separately. Families don't eat separately, too. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to go home as early as I can. I just told you that if you're starving already, you can eat ahead of me. Because I felt bad to make you wait. That's just what I wanted to say to you. That's not what you're thinking of me means. Uh, what are you saying? All I want is to eat together with you. You don't understand me at all, James. You're right, Alyssa. I'm sorry about that. I mean, you know what? I just noticed that you didn't clean the bathroom. Uh, I think I forgot to clean the bathroom yesterday. I'm sorry about that, too. <sighs> Are you fine with that? You're not bothered at all? That the bathroom is not clean? You think you can become a husband with that kind of behavior? You've been slacking off ever since we got engaged. How can I expect you to be a good father to our future children? I'm sorry, sorry. I'll apologize for that, but why is it that I have to do all the chores at home? Huh? What are you complaining about? That's a given, you know. My father used to do all the chores at home. My mother was also working, so... Dad did most of the chores at home. That's why you need to do the same too, James. Just like my father used to. But haven't you been helping me with household chores before we got engaged? That's right, before we got engaged. But after our engagement, we live together, so things will be different from now on. I will be managing your payroll, and you will do all the chores at home from now on. If you won't do that, I can't marry you. What? You won't marry me if I don't do all the chores? But I work too, you know. What kind of twisted thinking is that? So are you saying that the reason why you helped with the household chores is it because we weren't living together? That's right. Now you're starting to understand me. Now that we're living together, we can see what we'll be like when we get married, right? That's why I thought that. I might want you to become aware of these things. If you're going to be my husband, you need to become aware of your role as a husband. These things I told you about are common sense. But you know what, Eliza? We're different from your parents. We're not your parents. I think it would be better for us if we find our way of doing things. Don't you think so, too? What do you mean by that? I don't get where you're going at all. There are more times when I arrive home later than you, and so I won't be able to cook dinner for us all the time. We can make it work by being more flexible with our thinking, hmm? How about the one who comes home first cooks dinner? If we don't do it like that, I think it will be difficult for me to cook all the time. Are you telling me to do the household chores as well? When I'm also working just like you are? How could you ask me to do that? That's too much of you to ask from me. Ah, uh, too much? What do you mean, too much? My dad never asked my mom to do the chores at home. Not even once. You're unbelievable, James. Do you seriously want to marry me with that attitude? Of course I want to marry you. That's the whole point of proposing to you. But frankly speaking, to do all the chores by myself without help from you is impossible. It's only been a week since we started living together. But never have I expected you to not do anything at all. That's why I'm starting to feel tired now. How awful of you to say that. I never expected you to say such a horrible thing. Also, if that's what you wanted to do all along, I wish you told me about it before we lived together. I wanted to discuss it with you and decide together too as a couple. But the moment we started living in together, you told me to do everything because you don't want to do house chores. Since you told me that after we started living together, I was of course shocked by that. It's just a normal reaction for someone to be surprised by something bad. Ugh, James, you really are the worst. What? Why do you think so? Never would I have ever thought that you're that kind of man. What do you mean, 
Because by refusing to do the chores at home, you're implying that household chores are what women do. I never thought that's how you think of women as. You're too horrible. I feel like you've betrayed me. Ah, uh, what are you saying? Do you even hear yourself? I'm sorry, I don't understand you at all. You're busy at work, so you're telling me to do the chores at home. That's not it. You're not understanding me. What I was trying to tell you is that we need to cooperate to make this thing work. My dad never said that to my mom, because he respected my mom's work. But aren't your parents divorced? Why would you say that? That's irrelevant from what we're talking about right now. Um, you're right. I'm sorry about that. If you won't understand me, we'll break off our engagement. What? You're breaking off our engagement for this minor reason? That's right! But it's not a minor reason, and it means a lot to me. Our wedding is next month, you know. That's right. That's why we would be troubling a lot of people. I'm going to demand alimony too from you, you know. So brace yourself. Are you seriously saying that? Are saying that if I don't agree to do all the household chores for the rest of my life, you're going to break off our engagement? That's right. You heard me correctly. If you don't promise to do that, I'll be calling our wedding off and you won't be able to marry me. You don't get paid much and you don't look that good. But I chose you because you look like you're going to help me with household chores. If this is the case, I should have been better off marrying my ex-boyfriend. So you didn't choose me for me, nor because you were attracted to me. You chose me based on whether I will do chores or not after we get married? Of course that's a given. It's common sense. Did you think that you have good qualities? Other than good at cooking and a good homemaker? I'm sorry to hit you with the truth, but you're not attractive at all. Other than those qualities I've mentioned earlier, the only reason why I agreed to marry you was because you looked like you would do the chores at home after we got married. No other reasons at all whatsoever. You really are quite frank, aren't you? That's why, if you can't do everything I said, I won't marry you. You should pay alimony and break off our engagement. Understood, just as you said. I'm glad to hear that you understand me. Come home as early as you can, okay? Of course, you should prioritize home instead of work, okay? My dad used to come home on time every night, so... No, what I meant by understood is, I understood that we will break off our engagement. Huh? What are you saying? That joke is not funny at all. That's because it's not a joke. What do you mean it's not a joke? The house is under my name, so... Will you please leave the house? You still have some things left in the previous house. So it's not yet being cancelled, right? Because you said that you'll leave it that way until we get married. You'll probably be able to go back to that house now, right? I don't think it's too late yet. Wait a minute. I don't follow what you're saying. What do you mean? Are you trying to kick me out? If you want to stay in our current house, you can change it to your name, because I will leave instead. But I was the one who covered all the expenses for moving in, and if you want to live there, Alyssa, then I would be glad if you would cover my expenses moving out, because I will have to look for a different place, you know. Are you saying that? Does that mean you're going to cancel our wedding? I think that's for the best. Let me tell you frankly, I can't become like your father, Alyssa. I wanted us to search our path and live our own lives by our terms, but now that I heard the only reason why you agreed to marry me, I don't think we'll become happy even if we get married. I might have said too much, but how horrible of you to break off our engagement instantaneously. You're the one who asked for it, didn't you? You forced me to choose whether to do all the chores at home despite having a full-time job or to break off our engagement and go our separate ways. 
You said that earlier, remember? I love you, Alyssa. I didn't want to break up with you, but I can't do this anymore. I don't feel like we can be a couple anymore. Also, I won't pay alimony to you. It's a problem we both have. So I want you to pay for half of the cancellation fee for the wedding ceremony. What? Cancel the wedding? Are you seriously asking me to pay for the cancellation? We won't be getting married, so of course we're not going to have a wedding ceremony. <laughs> I mean, I paid for all the expenses for the wedding ceremony, so you should pay half of the cancellation fee to me. Wait, wait a minute. Everything is happening so fast. I can't keep up with it. There's one more thing I wanted to tell you. You took my bank's cash card and credit card from my wallet, didn't you? Huh? Well, I did take it, but it was only because I need to manage our finances. So I thought it's just normal to do that. Stuff like that? Don't you think it's normal to ask me first? But I didn't think of using it for my own, so... I wasn't done. Don't cut me off like that. I was out to meet a client outside the office and I couldn't make the payment, so I ended up having to go back and forth. That's why I'm working overtime. I even inconvenienced my clients thanks to your doing. I didn't know that. I can't live peacefully with someone who does things like that without asking me first. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to leave the house? Or are you going to pay for my expenses moving out and stay there yourself? I want to get married! I already told everyone that I'm getting married, and I'm thinking of resigning next month. So I was preparing for that, but... Ah, uh, what did you just say? I haven't heard about that too. So, does that mean that you're going to become a housewife, manage my money, and make me do all the chores at home? If you say it like that, it might sound like that, but I also have things to do, you know? Like preparing to welcome a baby when I get pregnant and stuff like that you decide everything too much without consulting me i'm sorry but i'm gonna have broken off the engagement i will contact your parents and tell them the news and why we've come to this decision what are you planning to tell them are you seriously going to do that of course i will i don't know yet if i will be able to demand it in the form of alimony but as for the cancellation fee for the wedding ceremony, I would definitely ask you to cover half of it. But I'm actually glad that I found this out before we got married. I I want to get married! Please, James! If you want to find someone willing to do the chores for you, then you should strive to become rich and hire someone to do the household chores for you. That would make things easier, I think. Stop forcing your ideals on others. If you're planning on quitting your job when you get married, and if you don't even plan on doing the household chores, I feel really relieved that I didn't marry you. Anyway, leave immediately, okay? <laughs> After that, Alyssa tried to contact James several times, but James didn't take any of her calls, nor replied to any of her messages. James reported to Alyssa's parents what their daughter has done and explained everything that happened. Rumors say that Alyssa's mother apologized to James, that she might have failed in raising her daughter. Alyssa ended up quitting her job. As the cancellation fee for the wedding, Alyssa borrowed money from her parents and was somehow able to pay James. Rumors also say that she went back to her hometown and started looking for work there. After that, she attempted to look for a partner but with her age being 35 years old and her demands of making the man do the household chores, she didn't get matched to anyone at all. If your ambitions are too high, higher than what you deserve, I guess you won't end up happy. You slept all day today again, didn't you? You didn't help out at all around the house, right? Are you seriously going to just do nothing all the time? Shouldn't you feel a little more responsibility as my wife to fulfill your duties? You really need to work a little harder. Stop being such a shitty wife. You're really going too far. You don't understand still? I've been sick because of morning sickness. How can you be so mean to me? You're just being spoiled right now. Morning sickness is something that you're using as an excuse. 
You realize that I had someone working in our office that was pregnant, right? She never seemed to complain at all. If anything, she was working harder than anyone else. She never brought up anything about morning sickness. That's because every person is different when they're pregnant. Not everyone reacts the same way. I'm having the kind of pregnancy where my morning sickness is really bad. That's just how I am. I'm taking off my work because of my morning sickness, too. It's not really anything that's new news to people. I want you to let me rest at home since that's why I'm taking off in the first place. Why doesn't someone who's more able-bodied right now take care of the household chores? Literally anyone who's not pregnant. I've been taking care of everything normally, so yeah. You guys can pick up the slack for just a little bit. Oh, come on! That's the attitude you're gonna be giving me right now? My parents are letting you stay at their house because they want to be kind to you or something. How about you start showing your appreciation towards them for once? You need to be better. I didn't even really want to live with them to begin with, so I don't know what you're talking about. You decided all on your own, Jason. I never agreed to any of this. The only reason I trusted you to move in with your parents was because you promised me that we would eventually move out to our own house. Are you seriously trying to move at all, or are you just full of it? I need to know now. If you have time to think about crap like that, how about you do something for a change around the house? How about trying to cook something every once in a while for everyone, huh? You really need to stop just hanging around and resting all the time. You're literally just being a leech right now. It's not like I'm being lazy right now. I'm literally sick. How many times do I have to explain this to you? You better do the right thing and work hard starting tomorrow as our personal driver for the vacation. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about, driver? I'm going to be driving? Well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I want to drink from around lunch, so, like, I'm going to need you to drive. If you don't drive, we don't need you at all, you know? You're just coming along as a driver. Consider yourself lucky. You realize that I might get really sick along the way. I really can't predict or put a pin on when I'm going to feel really bad out of the blue. Honestly, I really wanted to just cancel the trip outright, but I don't know. What do you think about just not going at all? What? You can't cancel it all now. <laughs> you being serious right now? <laughs> this is like the only time that you're really able to be of use to anyone at all. You're normally so useless. How about you start thinking about those around you and being a productive, useful wife for once? Wait, seriously? Are you not messing with me right now? No, no, no. Tell me the truth. Be honest with me here. Just to make things crystal clear, you want to take your pregnant wife, who is suffering from a severe case of morning sickness, to go to some family vacation against her will and use her as some kind of personal servant for you and your family? You really need to stop complaining about your morning sickness already. I'm not gonna spoil you. You better take care of everything at the hotel. <laughs> Are you shitting with me, you moron? You must be mistaking your wife to be some kind of slave for you. Is that what's going on? You didn't know that your wife wasn't your slave? If that's the case, you need to go really take a really, really cold shower to wake yourself up from the delusion you're believing in. You're really taking this all too far, Kayla. Look, let's just be real here. You have no right to say no here. You're going. You better work hard, wifey. <laughs> Are we clear? Yeah, no. Not gonna fly today, Chief. You're not going to cancel the vacation for me either, just to be clear? If you're canceling on us, how the hell are we gonna be driving to our vacation spot? Someone's gotta drive us. You literally promised that you were gonna drive for us. Did you seriously already forget that you said you'd drive? You really need to make sure you're in tip-top shape so that you can drive for us. If I could figure out how to just feel better and be in tip-top shape, I wouldn't be having such a hard time. Are you aware that the child that is in my belly right now is literally your own child as well? You need to come home already. You better really rethink your priorities before you come home, too. Miss Kayla, what the hell are you doing? Care to explain what's going on here? I heard that you don't want to go on the family vacation with us or something. You really need to stop spewing such nonsense, young lady. Well, you're really going hard on me, aren't you? 
You kind of surprised me with how intent all of you are on going on this trip. You haven't been doing anything as a housewife recently. You've just been in bed all day like a little sloth. How about you actually show your worth by driving us when we're going on vacation, huh? You need to pick up the slack, lady. Do you understand? Are we clear? I'll be honest with you, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling at the time, but apparently I'm going to be going on the vacation, so I'll go while resting frequently to make sure that the baby is okay and everything. I can't believe that you'd say such a thing to your own mother-in-law. I just don't believe what I'm hearing. You really have some nerve saying that, don't you? Didn't your parents teach you any manners? How does Jason put up with you, really? You must really have to be so incredibly patient dealing with some spoiled lady like yourself. I'm honestly fed up, to be honest with you, and I don't know if I can do this anymore. You and I both. I don't know if I can keep this up. I thought you finally got pregnant and you'd be of any worth to this family, but then you started doing nothing. You think that just because you're pregnant you don't have to do anything? That you can just get away with anything and do whatever you like? Well, let me tell you that when I became pregnant, no one allowed that to happen. I'm sorry that you lived in such an inconvenient day and age, but that has nothing to do with my morning sickness at all. You're really just a terrible person, aren't you? You're impossible to get along with. Keep this shit up. I'm going to be chasing you out of the house. You will not be staying here with us. Honestly, I'm okay with that. I'd prefer that, actually. I wasn't really into living with his parents anyway. I wanted to live somewhere else. But Jason was intent on living with his mummy and daddy. So that's why this has all developed into whatever is going on here right now. We are here thanks to your lovely son, Jason. If you really want to chase me out of the house, please talk to Jason about it and figure it out with him. You're such a bitchy wife. Why do you have to be so thorny when you talk to other people? Whatever, you're only going to be able to act so tough and strong now. Whatever, you're only going to be able to act so tough and strong now. You'll see. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just something on this end. You better make sure you show up tomorrow and drive correctly. I'm going to be expecting you to cook breakfast for me, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to cook you guys breakfast. I don't think I'll be able to wake up at all. You guys will just have to figure it out on your own, please. I'm begging you. Hey, where the hell are you? I can't find you. We're gonna go out and sightsee one last time before we go home. Get ready. Your whole family is serious the most rotten group of people I've ever seen. I'm being dead serious right now. What are you talking about, Kayla? <laughs> you need to stop. They're literally your family too. You can't be like that. Stop talking like that. I don't want to consider any of them my family. I don't want to be a part of that. I keep saying that I feel terrible because of my morning sickness, and I've repeated myself several times, but no one's listened. Even yesterday, they wouldn't let me drive on the highway. They said it was too expensive. They made me drive on the side road. Well, they're literally spitting the truth. Highways are really expensive. You have to save money as much as you can. You can't just be spending money willy-nilly. There were no rest stops and I really felt like I was dying. I was like a zombie driving. And even after we got to the hotel, you kept trying to make me do a bunch of random crap. You wanted to just keep commanding me around like I was some kind of slave. It was all really grating and you all sounded like little toddlers who couldn't take care of themselves. Why are you saying stuff like that? <laughs> Come on, cheer up. We just used you to your fullest extent as our personal housewife, right? You should be honored that we would even do that for you. Aren't you happy that you were able to stay at the hotel with us? Come on, cheer up! No, it's not just okay. I'm not happy. This is literally why I wanted to cancel. I knew I would feel terrible and then all of this would happen the way it did. I didn't even want to go on this vacation at all. I wanted to stay at home and rest. You just wanted me to go to use me as your personal slave, right? I know that's all you wanted me there for. So what? <laughs> you need to stop your bitching and moaning already. How about we wrap up this saw parade and start counting our own blessings, huh? If you don't come to our family vacation, who's going to be taking care of us during our vacation? Someone's got to look after us. You need to stop being spoiled just because you're suffering from morning sickness. Get the hell in the car! I'm seriously feeling the worst I've ever felt in my life. Mom and everyone else are waiting for you. <laughs> waiting for me, huh? 
They're all in the lobby then? Yeah, exactly. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. We're all gonna go driving and go sightseeing before we go home today. You can all just wait there then for an eternity. Just rot. Your whole family can disappear. What? What are you talking about? Later, you world-renowned piece of shit. Hey, what the hell is going on? Explain yourself! Where the hell did you go? You just disappeared! I've already checked out and we want to hurry up and go out to sightsee and whatnot. We're all waiting for you. We're getting really tired of waiting around for you. Where are you? Are you just sitting around doing nothing somewhere again? Where are you doing nothing now? I'm already on my way home. I'm not there. What? What do you mean? Well, I'm driving home on the highway. You know, that one thing that you said I wasn't allowed to use because you're such a stingy person? I'm actually just hanging out at the little rest stop between the house and that stupid hotel. What, are you saying that you left us behind? You didn't do that, did you? There's no way that you just left us here. You really think you can get away with doing that? You're gonna pay for this, you understand? Kayla, stop messing around already! Turn the hell around and come back here! That's exactly what I wanted to tell your whole family. Stop messing around. What? I was seriously just at the end of my patience and so pissed off. So I just took out my revenge on your whole shitty family. I'm going to be driving straight back to my parents' house using our car now. What are you talking about going back to your parents' house? What are you going to go back to your parents' house for? I already have the divorce papers placed out on the desk back at home. What are you talking about, Kayla? You're not making any sense at all. Just hurry up and get back here already. You're taking too long. Are you seriously not here at the hotel anymore? You've already left? I told you I'm not there anymore. I've left. I'm sure you and yours were all expecting me to drive you to your destination and just catch a ride back with me, but... I'm not there anymore, so you guys just figure out how to get home on your own, please. I'm not going to help. What? I found the and I lost for words! What the hell, Kayla? Why would you do such a thing to us? How could you do that? What do you mean, why? Or how could I? The car is under my name, I bought it with my money, and I own it outright. It's mine. If I want to go home, I'm going to go home. I'm the driver, and it's literally my car. It's all me. The only reason I took the car is because it literally belongs to me, and I'm taking all of my belongings. You were joking about drinking from the middle of the day before, but let's be real with each other. You don't even have a driver's license because you're too stupid to go get a license. I mean, that's true, but right now, that has nothing to do with anything. Do you understand? This is all unimportant right now. You need to get your ass back here right now. You can't just say, oh, sorry, I left. I need you to be back here right now to help us. I can't just accept that you're gone like that. I still need to have you drive. I mean, we're going to get a divorce, so I don't need to take care of your stupid family at all. Just so you know, I'm planning on making sure that not a single one of you ever sees my child. I mean that. What? What the hell are you talking about, Kayla? You realize that that is my child as well? You can't just do that to me. Okay, so it's your child as well. So what? You have literally zero interest in me, your wife, who is actually pregnant with your child. You think that the child is just going to grow up and become an adult even if you just leave it alone? That you don't need to be a parent? You have no awareness that you're going to become a parent, and I really don't have any intention or motivation to be raising a child with you at all. I also have proof of your affair that you're having, so I'm going to be suing you for all the damages. You better be ready. Wait, 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 hang on! What are you talking about? You need to calm way down. No, no. You're the one that needs to calm down. <laughs> proof of my affair? I don't even know the hell you're talking about, Kayla! You don't have any proof of that? I know you're full of it. Actually, as far as the proof of your affair, I sent your mum all of the photos of you with your partner, you know, having fun. I'm sure they're going to be able to tell for sure who's doing what where now, right? No arguing? You're just a piece of shit husband that cheated on his wife while his wife was pregnant with his only child. Go to hell. You don't have to taunt me that badly. 
What the hell, Kayla? What do you have against me? Besides, how did you even find out about the affair at all? I didn't even think you knew about it at all. Not that I'm here admitting about it or anything. Like, how did you think that you have figured everything out? I don't care if you admit or don't admit anything. I already said earlier, I've got proof of you and your stupid affair. I don't care as long as you pay your dues and damages for your affair. Damages? Are you serious about getting a divorce too? I thought you were just messing around with me. I don't think I've ever given you permission to go and try to divorce me like that. Why the hell do I need your permission to divorce you? <laughs> You were cheating on me, so it's plenty of reason for me to get a divorce with you. There's no reason I need to hide. Also, I'm pretty sure I know that you were intending on getting a divorce with me, too. I'm not an idiot, Jason. What? What are you talking about, Kayla? You were talking to your mom last night. I overheard what the two of you were saying. You were going to make your mom raise a child after it was born and not let me raise my own child. You were going to chase me out of your house and make sure that I never saw the child, right? Was that your plan? and that she wanted you to make sure that I didn't divorce you until the baby was born, right? That was your plan? What? You were listening to me? How much did you hear? No, wait, hang on. You, you completely misunderstood what was being talked about. Mom said that she wanted to raise her kids, so I just couldn't, you know? It's not just your kid, you freaking idiot. It's our child. In fact, I'm the one that's over here suffering with morning sickness. I'm the one that's carrying this child everywhere. Do you understand me? Me. You know that, and yet you're saying this kind of dumb shit. Are you serious right now? You're just going to have me crap out the baby and then chase me out of the house, right? Hooray? That's what I meant, but like, oh, come on, Kayla, don't be like that. I was going to talk about it a little, you know? Of course I wouldn't just chase you off like that. Talk about what exactly, Jason? What were we having a discussion about? Oh, you know, what were you going to do from here on out after the baby was born? All right, then, it's set. You must be super happy, ecstatic even, that you're going to be able to divorce me. How about you just keep making more kids with your affair partner, you piece of shit? Goodbye. You don't have to be that mean or rude, do you? Mom is just excited to have a child. She wants to raise the baby, you know what I mean? We finally got a child, so why don't we stay married, you know? For the, the baby and for each other. I have no intention of letting you do anything for the baby at all. It's my child and only my child. If you want any rights at all, I'm going to make sure that you'll be paying all child support. But I will be sure to make it so that you are only allowed to visit the child once in a while. That's it. You're going to live with the child? Raise the child? Are you serious? You've completely lost your damn mind. You better just keep daydreaming, asshole. I won't stop you. I'm sorry, you're seriously going to make this a terrible situation if you do this to me. I apologize for the affair, but I want you to have the baby. Please, I'm begging you. I said I would have the baby. Of course I'm going to have the baby. But this child isn't going to have a single thing to do with you or your rotten family. It's my child too, though. Come on, don't be like this, Kayla. I want to raise it with you. Let's both raise a child together. I don't want to get a divorce. You were literally planning on divorcing me after I gave birth to the child. What are you talking about, you dumbass? Alrighty, well, I'll let you know when we're going to be settling everything after the divorce. We'll hash out the details when I'm ready. Alright, so that's all I've got to say. Goodbye, Mr. Failure. I hope to never see or hear from you again. Wait, hang on! What, you have something else you'd like to say to me? About me and my family. We don't have any way to get around right now. How the hell are we supposed to try to brainstorm to get around? Are you seriously asking me? I don't know and I don't care. There aren't really any buses around here or anything. I don't even think there are taxis. Why are you asking me, Jason? Please explain that to me. There are literally three grown adults there. How about you guys use whatever brain cells you have to figure it out? Oh, actually, I have a suggestion. You and your shitty family can all just walk home. Okay, that's it. Don't ever think that I'm ever going to do a single thing for you and any of you ever again. I'm never going to be that person anymore. You guys can all live life however the hell you want. 
Apparently, later on, that whole family had no way home at all. They were trying to figure it out, but they couldn't. They managed to try to find a bus that would drive them closer to where they could take other forms of public transport to make it home. It ended up taking them over half a day to get home. They also tried to figure out how to talk to Kayla again to try to complain to her about the whole ordeal, but she just told them that they could talk to her lawyer because she was going to be getting a divorce, and that was the end of that. Jason heard from the divorce lawyer, and he had to talk to him. His company also apparently caught wind that he was having an affair, and his life was pretty much over as he knew it. He was being sued for damages, and everyone around him figured out that he was having an affair as well. No one would talk to Jason at all, and eventually, he was all alone. Even his family that was doing everything they could to do their absolute worst to Kayla were also shunned completely. Their family apparently all completely split up and lost each other to everything. A few months later, Kayla gave birth to her child successfully and she was happy with her child. Jason, on the other hand, has no plans to ever be able to see his child in the near future. If you think about what he did to her and his child, you can't really expect anything else. Kayla just swore that her and her child would never cross paths with that terrible family ever again.